Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again, and today I have a huge video. This is every single LEGO Harry Potter set released from 2018 to 2020. Now this doesn't include a couple of the 2020 sets, Diagon Alley because it hasn't even been revealed yet, much less released, Hagrid and Buckbeak, the Brickheads because that hasn't been released yet either. I'm also missing the Owl Delivery Polybag because it's not out in the US. And I think I'm also missing the second CMF series because of course that's also not out in the US. But other than that, I have everything. I won't be able to do another video once I get those sets because A, as you can see, I'm in a different filming location. This is my dining table as opposed to like the room that I usually film in because everything wouldn't fit in that room. And I mean, once you add Diagon Alley into the mix, it won't even fit on this table. And again, I might have to get like, you know, th those couple sets that haven't released yet. I might have to get those when I go back to school in Canada. So I won't be able to have all of these things here with me. But I wanted to do this video because like I haven't dismantled any of my Harry Potter stuff from 2018, but I'm going to have to now because we're moving. So I figured before I take all that stuff apart, I should show you guys everything. I also have the Fantastic Beast sets here. They're in this corner, Newt's suitcase, and then Grindelwald's escape. I have all of the brick heads that LEGO has made for Harry Potter right here, which I didn't realize that they were actually kind of rare, so that's cool. Have Hogwarts Express over there. This is supposed. This is just like the non-Hogwarts section. So you can see I've got the Night Bus, Privet Drive, the Burrow, the Buildable Hedwig, and the Rise of Voldemort set. And then all of this stuff is more Hogwarts related. So I've got Hogwarts connected in the configuration that I keep it on my shelf in my bedroom. I've got the Advent Calendar down there. Hogwarts Express, of course. I've got the Bobaton Carriage because, you know, it arrived at Hogwarts. There's the Whomping Willow over there. Then I did complete a Quidditch pitch. I just bought a second Quidditch match set and built it this morning. And I really like the way they look together. You know, I did this for the Thor Ragnarok, like, Gladiator Arena as well. And it, this looks amazing, like, when it's all angled together like this. I'm sure I could join it together and, like, make it even better. But you can see I've got, like, Oliver Wood being the keeper on one side. And then I just made, like, Lucian Bull, um, the beater of the set. I just made him into the other keeper. Then over here I've got the Hungarian Horntail set because that took place in the Quidditch pitch, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't forgive my memory, but yeah, I've got that sitting here. And then this is my little Forbidden Forest setup because as we've discussed, Lego's giving us like a Forbidden Forest one tree at a time. So this is the tree from the Umbridge's Encounter set. This is the one from the Aragog's Forest set. And then these are the two from the Expecto Patronum set. And I think they look really nice together. You know, they're different designs, but, um, but I mean, like they fit really well together. So back here, I've got Grop and Aragog, and then I've got Hagrid's hut tucked away into the corner. It's like almost hanging off the table, and I've got Buckbeak in the garden there. And I'll bring this around the side. As you can see at the other end, I have the direct-to-consumer Hogwarts castle. On this minifigure frame, I've got the minifigure series one with the Fantastic Beasts characters down at the bottom. This is actually the little build from the Build Your Own Adventure book. So again, if you want to see my Hogwarts Connected video, I'll put a link to it because I go way more in depth there. But then this is the direct-to-consumer Hogwarts Castle. I love this set. This is like definitely one of my favorite LEGO sets ever. And it's usually just on permanent display, but I did pull it out for this video because I wanted to have every single one that they've made. Since 2018, of course, because I don't have all the older ones. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys like everything together. You know, I've said before, I like making videos when I put all these sets together. And I mean, it seems that other people like watching them as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did total all of this up. So this is about $1,700 worth of Lego right here. I think the exact number I got to was like $1,698 um, based on retail price. And I have to say that's less than I was expecting. I thought that this would crack 2000 for sure, although it will once Diagon Alley comes out. But yeah, that's it for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye for now.